you can see the workspace, the camera view, right? Now, we now have the select tool, all right? We have the contour editor and all the likes. We have the pencil tool. We have the rectangle tool. But we cannot do anything without a drawing layer. Do you understand? So let me try Control R again. Will it, will it work? So it's not working because there's nothing there, I guess. So I'm going to come here and create the drawing. Okay. You notice mine has overlay art, line art, color art, underlay art. I just added, or well, sometimes ago I added the overlay art and underlay art. But by default, you should have line art and uh, color art. Okay. Then you have vector and bitmap. Okay. Make sure it is vector. All right? Then you now come here and say add and close. So let me try Control R again. Control R is still not for some reason. Don't know why on my system. It's meant to work on your system. Okay. Now I'm going to create a shape and remember I said when you create a shape you're going to increase you can increase the size here from the pencil selection okay I explained earlier they are supposed to make it very very mommy we cite you We're going to make it very, very neat. You remember? Because we don't want anything looking rough, rough edged. So even though you're having something like this, right? You make sure you cut it properly. You trim it properly. to make it look like this in terms of the edge okay we don't want any rough edges at all yeah so what do you now do we now want to fill this with color or right so now that we have all this we are now going to position it in the mm -hmm. don't forget to always position it within the camera view another trick of what I do is to make sure everything is on a plane do you understand? So that way, you are able to you are able to gauge where you want to place your objects. Like for instance, let's say you want to place an ellipse. You can see. Let's say you want to place a smaller ellipse. Okay. something like that so everything can stay on the plane just in case you delete that that line you can still see everything on a straight plane all right so arranging your object is very important placing them on a plane as i explained just now let me explain that part again because this was not here so I can increase the line thickness with your tool property. Okay. You can increase your line thickness here. Let me make it 16 or 15. Come here, draw a line or this. Do you understand? 
if I want this guy to snap on this one, to stay on this one, you can come here, all right, and snap it to contour, or you just draw it from the start, because usually we have alignment guide, guides that we use, okay? Now, how do you get your alignment guides? Uh, let me see. Let me bring this guy down. So I can have more space here. Right click on this side here. See your alignment guide, the second one. Okay. I'm not now sure if the earlier version has it. But I hope it does. Right. You can check it out to be sure if you have the alignment guide in yours. Now when you click on it. You can you can literally create this type of lines, okay? Like ruler, it's more or less like ruler, okay? There's no ruler here, but there's alignment guides. So that alignment guide guides act as a ruler. Now. You can now carry those alignment guides and now use it to align with that your line. You get this line that you created. Because you want to see how you can position all this on it so that it doesn't pass it like this. Right? I want to do it seamlessly. So what do you do? You take your alignment guides and put it just on the surface of that line. Then you can lock the alignment guide here. See the padlock? Let me lock it. Now it's not still snapping. You see, it's not snapping. So how do I make it snap? I come to this guy. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not sure if you guys have um, this like magnets. But you people should have something close to that. It's around the same area. It's like mouse with like line like that with a full stop in front, right? Just explore this side you will see it's there Contour, let me snap to element guide let's see what happens so i'm gonna take this guy i'm gonna drag him down do you see do you see that snap when i snap that line owns light so you can literally carry all these ones and snap them down i'm just teaching you how to arrange your scene okay you notice i started with column okay Secondly, I start with arrangement, deleting it, right, adding, repositioning, and so many other things for the column. Now, I know you already know how to build these things. Do you get? You already know how to build this type of scene, like this. But, I want you to be able to, to make it neat. It has to be neat. You can't be drawing a head now. And your head now looks like this. This, I will give you a 2 over 10. The 2 will be for effort. And the 8 will be for um, technicality. Because it's 0. Do you understand? Meaning that when you are drawing something like this, sorry. You should go like this. See you. I'm still going to use my mouse and pencil. Right? Contour 2. I'm using pencil. Shape the line very well. You notice all the points will disappear. Okay? You can see it's smoother. I'll give my head a shape. Now, see this guy now. I want to cut this one. Alt T is for your cutter tool here. Alt T is the shortcut 
to your portal tool. Don't forget. I'll click on this and I'll use it to trim these excesses. Okay. Come back to my um, control editor tool. Check this line as well. Check this line as well. Take this up. Just play around with it. I want to make air with it. Okay. Come here. Pencil again. Rough. Eyes. Pupil. Okay. Do the same thing. But if you don't, if you don't want to pass this route, delete it. Delete it. Come here. Ellipse two. You understand? Ellipse two. Pupil. White eyes. Reflection eyes. You see that? Reflection eyes. This one. Learn to always project. Your art layer. Where's my art layer? Why is it not showing? See where my art layer went to. So it's not going to be able to go there, right? Let me remove it. Art layer. Within this column, you see here. I'm going to add, you know, I'm inside a column already. This is the column. This art layer has disappeared. This is the column that you are going to add the art layer, right? Just come here and right click here. You see your art layer. Drag it from here inside that column and put it back where it belongs. Okay? That's my art layer. Now, I told you not to be coloring on the, on the line art. Of course, it's permitted when you just start learning. But as you go, don't use your paint bucket tool to color within this place because you are still on your art layer. All right. So I'm going to undo that. Now I'm going to go to my select tool and I'm going to project this guy. I'm going to project it to my color art. Now this one is called projection. What does projection mean? Projection means create color art from line art. So, what it's doing is, you see this orange line in between, when you select this line now, you see this orange line in between this art, this orange line. That's what is going to project to the color art, but to change the color to blue, okay? So, let me show you how that works. I'm going to click it like this. I'm going to come here and project. When you go to your color art, see what happens. Do you see the blue line? Right? In order for you to understand, let me see if it's going to show in the drawing. Let me come here. It's not showing in the drawing. Oh, it's showing. Do you see the, do you see the line art? Do you see the art? So, see the line, see the color. See the line, see the color. See the line, see the color, right? Now go to your camera art and fill in this guy with any color, let's say blue. But that color is on the color art without the line art. It's separate. Come to your drawing to confirm. Do you see? There is no line art. But when you come to your line art, it shows you the line art. What is making this happen in your drawing, you know you are in your drawing, is due to these eyes here. See the eyes? It's called Preview All Art Layers. And these are the art layers. So when you click on it to preview it, and you click on it, 
it's going to show you everything together okay but we all know that they are on two different art layers all right one is on the line art and the other is on the color art as simple as that now when you look at this there's one thing you are going to take note of or two things number one neatness you get number two precision okay and number three i like to add number three this will secure you jobs if your work is not neat i'm saying again if your work is not neat nobody will pay you for your work they will tell you that okay even though they even pay you for the first one maybe for 50 dollars or something 30 dollars they will say don't worry we'll call you another time five years will pass they might not call you you understand i could remember there was a work i did one time that they were asking they told me that sorry i did one work one time and i did the work it's been a while very very long time and they told me that um the they are sorry that they can only pay me half of the money i think the work was like 600 dollars or so i said they can only pay me half of the money why they said because the work does not meet standard do you understand so that's what they will tell you they will tell you they, they can't pay they thought we were like this they thought of course you can say ah these people are scamming me and like but go and compare your work with other people's works that are neat you will discover that your work is not actually up to standard so make sure you cross all your teeth and dot all your eyes when it comes to graphic work because it's like graphics do you understand it's like you are doing graphics but now this time around the only difference is that come in let me cut this and put it on the next layer Sorry. so this one you can only select only the lines right as i explained do you understand why the color that you projected is here you understand now to select everything together what do you do you click on this one this particular one what is it called apply to line and color art okay so i'm going to select it i'm going to select all this okay so if i select all this look at what happened i can now move everything together am i correct now i'm going to cut this put on the next layer scale it up position it here what happened it's not scaling it's not scaling with the line art there was something we did the other time do we remember yes yeah. what was the function you know we clicked on something that says that anytime we scale it up right you should scale down the outline you get what i mean you see what happened there but it's fine it's fine i think it still works it's not bad it's not a bad idea right so now what we are going to do uh, what happened to your lights sister peace <laughs> they've taken lights okay sorry so to extend exposure here this is for the timeline to extend exposure i'm going to click on f5 so the class is going to end very soon okay the class will end very soon i have to start the class all over again now this is the drawing that i have now right so that piece of, i think she has left the meeting but mistakenly all right let's continue 
Now, I'm going to duplicate this one into two. Um, drawings, duplicate drawings, okay? Um, hey, Nicole, what happened? You joined late. Yes. Okay. Okay, so now, I want to do like a, I want to do like a blink, okay? I'm going to, I'm going to cut this eye, alright? So this is the first drawing, second drawing. I'll cut the eye like maybe around here. Okay, she wants to join back. Uh, add it all. Your network, I believe. Now, I explained earlier that what I did was I scaled up these objects and, and divided, extended this timeline. Right? How did I do it? I wanted the time, the drawing to stay around up to 10, 10 frames. So what did I do? I came to 10, that's frame 10. On my keyboard, I clicked on F5. That's the shortcut, okay? Or right click, okay? Um, extend exclusive F5. Just here. Okay? Extend exposure. Now, when you click on it, it's going to extend. Let's go to 20. Let me show you again. Come to 20. Right click. F5. You see that? So, the more you do it, the more it extends. 40. Maybe the same thing. But we are not going that far. We just want to do the sample. Now, I'm going to come to frame. Congratulations, ma. Nepal has brought light in your area. You are not in Canada, obviously. You are in Nigeria. But we pray Canada for you, though. All right, so now, you come to, like, frame 5. Here, you can see. Frame 5. I'm going to divide this. How do I divide it? Right click again. Click. Exposure. The, uh, um, yeah, no, no, drawings, right? Come to duplicate drawing, that's Alt Shift D. Okay, this is shortcut. I use shortcut a lot, so you have to master your shortcut. Master it, alright? Duplicate drawings, that means make the drawings too. This will now lead me to why I taught you colon today. Go to your plus here. Click on it. Go all the way to drawing substitutions. Okay? Drawing substitutions. Click on it. Come down like this. Do you see how many drawings you have there? Right. Drawing substitutions. Right. You have to write this down. Drawing substitution shows you the different drawings in different frames. Drawing substitutions shows you the different drawings inside different frames. Now, when you see this, how many drawings is there? You can count together. One, Two, three, four. 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 Do you get? We have four different drawings. Of course, within one drawing, you can have multiple drawings. You see what I'm saying? You have this. Let me go to my selection. You have this. You have this. You have this, you have these guys, 
you can see even in this place it's previewing what is happening here or what's happening to the drawing do you see the same way when you go to this drawing when you select this drawing boom, you see everything changed from what it was to this second drawing do you understand but now the amount of time that drawing is going to stay on this timeline is called timing you can write it the amount of times that drawing is going to stay on this timeline is called timing Mr. Peace, you know your select two, right? Yes. You know your quarter two, right? Yes. You know your contour two, right? You know your pencil editor two, right? You know your pencil two, right? You know your eraser two to clean it. If you don't know before, yeah. this is it, yeah. This is what it does, all right? It enables you mm -hmm. to clean the drawing. Do you understand me? Mm -hmm. Now, nah, let me clear this. Let me clear this. One. You know, do you know your text too? Yes. Your text too, to write text. Hmm? Do you know that? And please. Yes. Well, because when you select it, you can write... Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I love writing so, blah, blah, blah. Now, you know your ellipse and rectangle too? Yes. Good. To draw all these guys. And to draw these guys. Right? I'm doing a recap for everybody. Because now, we are already jumping into animation. Animation starts fully next week. Do you understand? But I need to explain. Yes, I wanted to ask. Okay. You wanted to ask what? Can I? Yeah, definitely. Go ahead. Um, you know, uh, th this line, this straight line. Yeah. The rectangle and the tri uh, the whatever lines. This one. What if I want to draw like a hair? What if I want to draw curve? Let's say I want to curve something for a drawing. How do I do it? And I don't want to use pencil. Something like this. Yes. Abby, am I correct? Yes. Now, I've told you, you don't even need all these um, strange tools. You don't need to. You don't need to use all these guys to do curves. I've told you before. Once you have a line like this. Once you have a rectangle like this okay or a line come to your contour editor all right zoom in click on the points for this line there's only two points do you understand click down on your alt don't forget you want to cover any line click down on your alt click on that point and drag do you see? Click on the other point and drag with ALT. Okay? Make sure your ALT is selected. ALT means bring out the control vertices, the control editors. These are control editors. Do you understand? These are control editors. You get. Example. I want to make a plate with a rectangle, from a rectangle, not an ellipse, which is easier to write, do a plate from here, right? When you come to your contour editor, 
How many points do we have on this rectangle? We have four. So we want to curve those four points to form this. How do we do it? You use your alt on the keyboard and your contour editor too. I'm gonna select one of those points, put my left hand, I'm right-handed anyway, put my left hand on my alt, click on this guy, sorry, and do this, click and drag. Do you see what's happening? Yes. Do it to this part too, click and drag. Do it to this part to click and drag. Do it to this part to click and drag. Now, I already have something similar to this, but it's not perfect. If you give this to me now, I'm going to score you, let's say, one and a half over ten. Don't call me a wicked teacher. I'm just like that. Do you understand? Because I know what you're trying to draw. This one, I'm going to score you maybe six over ten. Because... I'm not saying I'm more perfect than the system. I'm just telling you that um, I'm not lenient with my scores. Okay. Now, the reason why I will give you this mark is because I know for sure you can do better. Do you understand? So, meaning you can come here, your control editor, and keep going. Do you see? Keep dragging, reducing, increasing, dragging, reducing, increasing. Okay. Do you understand what I just did? Yes. Yeah. Let me now give you a picture of your future. So now, as I was explaining earlier, I said, oh yeah, my camera was not working before, so thank God it's working now. Now, you, you start taking it, you can see it's getting closer to this, all right? It's getting close. You know, we started with me record though. Yeah, I'm recording. I've been recording since, okay? Don't worry. Okay. I got you. Now, um, you can see that um, we're able to make that curve happen from a straight surface with alt and click that's all so don't forget okay so now we're gonna go into what i actually wanted to teach because gradually gradually we are already entering now we have four similar drawings. I'm going to delete this drawing. Now, let me show you how to delete a drawing. Now, you have this. Um, jargons, I would say. Because you don't really know what it is. It's just everywhere. It doesn't really have a meaning. Right? It looks like the art that people are doing these days and they are selling for $50,000. I don't know what this is. But people are selling it. Now, I want to delete this particular drawing from this drawing substitution, right? But how do I do it? Can I delete it from here? No. Right click, you can't delete. You cannot delete it from this place, okay? So where can I delete it from? I can come here to the, to the layer. Currently now, I have four drawings here. But how many drawings do I have here? Two. Hmm? Two. Just two. So I want to delete this number one. That's this one. Number one. Mm -hmm. So you can even see it's carrying the number here in the thumbs. Let me just close the thumbs. You will not see the number again when you close the thumbs. Okay? So sometimes it's good to always open the thumbs, the thumbnail here, so that you can know where or which number you are working with but another shortcut to know the numbers is to check through the parameters look at the parameters here see number one here okay 
So the next drawing is here. Number two. Number two drawings. Let me just open the thumb so you can see what we are working with. Number two drawing is here, which is this. You can see number two here as well. Right? Then number three, number number two, three, four are similar in drawing. Okay? I'm going to use number two, three, and four to do an eye blink. But you have to get rid of number one first. Let's go to number one. Right click. Go to drawings. Come all the way down here. Control shift D. I created that shortcut. Okay? I created it. So you can also create shortcuts. I will not teach you that one now until maybe next week on how to create shortcuts. That one is not really that important. Okay? Now, delete selected drawings. I gave it Control Shift D. Let me click it here. Control Shift D. Do you see it as left here? Yes. That drawing does not exist again. So be careful with that, that shortcut, that tool. Because or else you have to come back and start redrawing it. If you don't have on, on install, I say on install, sorry. Uh, undo. I say on install. Undo. Right? So I'm just going to redo that. I don't need to do the delete again. Let me just redo it. So I don't actually need it. That's why I deleted it, right? So I'm going to put drawing two in the first frame. Let me just zoom in a bit. So I'm back to the timeline now. And I want to use this timeline to do a short eye blink animation. Stapis, are you here? Yes. Okay, it can't be like say you freeze for like a few seconds. Now, I'm going to expand this guy. Remember, drawing one, first tell the story. Don't forget. I'm going to shift drawing two. Oh, sorry. Drawing three now. Do you get? Now we are working with drawing two, three, and let's put four side by side. Do you see it? Yes. So this first frame, drawing one, drawing two. Okay. Second frame, drawing three. Third frame, drawing four. But in this place, there are just three drawings because we have deleted the one, the first drawing that is holding drawing one, that is holding that one, number one. We have deleted it. We can rename these guys to become drawing one, two, three, if we like, but not now. Okay. Now, this first drawing, the eyes is open. See, open. Bang, bang, bang. Second drawing, eyes is open. You understand? But what I want to do to this is, I want to carry another. Rectangle two. Let's bring this up a bit. Let's go to black and draw something like this. Do you see? But let's not even draw it. Where did I draw? Okay. Let's draw it on our line two. Now, I'm going to teach us hierarchy. That's arranging objects on the same drawing like inside one drawing you draw a drawing you have the eyes you have something on top you have something on top you have something on top in the same drawing you get just like doing it's like they call it multi-layering so something like this you have black do you get you now carry white you now draw it on top do you understand you now carry red you now draw it on top you now carry blue or green you now draw it on top you carry green, you draw it on top. Do you see? You can see that the the black is the last on under. Followed by white, then red. You can see now, you, you are moving it like below it. Do you understand? So they call this multi-layering. But if you want to kind of move this green or this black to the front and bring to the back, right? You can select on, you can select this guy, right click. Come to this one, arrange. Do you see it? 
arrange right click on that object come to arrange see what he said bring to the front bring forward that's bring forward one do you see see their shortcut control page up bring to the top 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 most top control shift page up control shift page up okay control down send backward once control shift page down send to the back 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 from the front do you understand so let's let's test them out what does what how do they how do they work let's start with this first one you know we are dealing with the black now right let's start with the first one send to the front bring to the front bam see the black is at the topmost top you understand let's undo that <laughs> control z let's undo do you see let's do it again but for with the second one now bring forward now i told you that this bring forward one let's press it boom do you see it's still behind the red so now i can use my shortcut to just do it directly control page up right see control page up control page up control page up do you see control page down control page down control page down control page down do you see you understand but if you want to send this one to the back let's do it this way i want to send it to the back how do you do it let's put it sorry let's put it here now let's put let's send it to the back control page control page down control page down control page down control page down do you see mm -hmm. let me undo that control shift page down ma'am control shift page up ma'am do you see so that's basically what we are going to be doing when it comes to what we created just now you understand so I'm going to I'm going to draw this out now for for now. I'm going to color it with the skin color. The skin color of this creature is blue, right? Let's carry this and put it back on top. See, it covers the eye. You get. So see what happens. Open eye, medium eye. We are not going to copy this. Let's copy this. Copy, paste. Do you see? But drag it like this. Do you understand what I just did? That's basic blinking. You understand? But now, the tricky, the tricky part is we can now remove all these blacks here. Come to your contour editor. Click on this, remove. Click on this, remove. Click on this, remove. Do you see? Yes. Wow. Go to the last one click on this remove click on this remove click on this remove click on this remove do you see but another way you can do it instead of that is you can carry this guy up and curve him do you remember i thought that about curve out yeah and curve him like this they will just do it like this curve him of this sorry it's snapping let me remove the snap okay remove let me remove this let me bring this down remove remove okay you see what happened so you have this okay. you see that now I'm going to now export this as a video. Alright? I'll send it to our WhatsApp so we see how blink the blinking works. It's just basically three drawings. But if you want it to be smoother, of course, you can add more drawings. Now, I'm going to expand these drawings. Now, how do you expand the drawings? Now, I told you before that you just click the two drawings in front. And you move it forward, right? That's what I said before. Yeah. Let's look for another option. 
you click on this this drawing tool right click drawings okay mm, I'm, 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 I'm so far away from I'm so 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 see how you add increase exposure decrease exposure I use shortcuts for everything do you understand so entering all these options is is far from me now after like five years of using this tool all right now what you can do you know there's plus and minus on your keyboard do you get me let me expand it again this one is on the on one layer on one frame sorry you want that frame you want the the first eye open to be open for a long time do you understand and when the blink happens you want the eye to open back again it's called a loop do you get they call it a loop right in your book a loop is the ability for something to start and for that same thing to end do you get me that first action started but that same first action ended are you getting it? that's a loop another example of a loop is for the action in front to also appear at the end the action in front to also appear at the end another example is the frame that starts that started the timing or the frame in the beginning should also be at the end that's a loop are you getting it the frame in the beginning should also be at the end all right so let's do that so now if i start doing any copying and pasting or adding any new frames and likes right i'm going to copy this guy let's say ctrl c just click on the frame ctrl c on your keyboard go to the front where is closing the eye go to a frame in front you know that this where is closing the eye this frame right go to one frame in front just one frame in front and press ctrl v he has opened the eye back okay let's play it you see that but i want it to be slow as well see my eye i close my eye no my eye is open halfway close halfway open do you get me so look halfway no open halfway close halfway open do you get me so that's exactly what i want to do yeah. now that's what i'm going to do i'm going to now zoom in a bit see what we are having in this thumbnail open halfway close so the question is where is my halfway before open do you understand i'm going to now drag this guy forward one frame you get i dragged that open one frame so i can have an extra frame here then i'm going to take this guy copy it right ctrl c or just right click okay copy cells from timeline ctrl c do you understand then come here paste cell in timeline ctrl v you get paste now see what happens okay so it's almost seamless you're like wow but if you play it what happens so it works but i want it a bit slower so i can render it now i'm going to add frames to this 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 and put the frames on twos okay what you must always remember is something i always talk about i tell my students this 
put all your drawings on two frames one drawing on two frames okay one drawing on two frames let them appear two frames how do you do that this drawing is currently on one frame okay this drawing is currently on one frame 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 right how do you put it on two this first one right you you, you say plus you add plus on your keyboard plus and minus let me see undo plus let's add the plus shift plus i've added one the other one shift plus shift because it's plus and equals to that is in that button so you have to press shift to be able to access the plus do you get me so i'll go to the next drawing shift plus shift plus shift plus do you see so i've added two two drawings to each of the drawing and i, I can export like that do you see it's slower so let me stop here let me stop the drawing here do you see let me loop it do you see that so it's blinking which is nice now i'm going to now export this guy but before i do because we are ending the class now i want to give you guys a, a, a um an assignment replicate this same thing i'm going to export it and i'm going to send it to us all right i'm going to add my color card listen add your color cards all right learn to start adding your color cards from here come to your drawing do you see this area on your timeline this plus come to this plus click on this plus you can add your both your drawing this drawing that we are using currently okay oh sorry and from this same plus you can add your color card as well color card do you see see how fine it's looking now very bright and attractive now i will now i'm not going to export it now this is what's going to happen okay you're going to do the same thing for eye blink the first drawing is on two frames second drawing is on two frames third drawing is on two frames remember i only have three drawings if you check the drawing substitution do you remember i have just three drawings so it's only three drawings you are doing for those three drawings drawing two is appearing two times beginning and the end okay drawing three that's the second drawing right is appearing two times as well that's in the middle and in the middle here white drawing four that's the third drawing is appearing in the center okay making five appearances five appearances of your of your frames that's five frames but each of those frames that you have created you're not adding sorry each of those frames that you are creating each of the frames you are adding another extra frames to it that's your plus sign don't forget how do you add your plus sign you come here right click drawings do you hear okay is it drawings no exposure increase exposure that's plus okay let me do it again on that drawing see i want it to appear twice on the like twice on this uh frames these two frames carrying one drawing okay but look at this last frame uh, last drawing you know it's still this first one you see this one here that is here right see how long the thing is appearing see how long the thing is appearing do you see which is 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. He's appearing 17 times. Abby? Oh, is it 7? <laughs> what am I counting? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17, right? So he's appearing 17 times. Do you get what I'm saying? It's appearing 17 times. In fact, when you open the thumbnail, do you see it's giving you the number of frames it's on? See, see, two, two, two. Do you see number two here? Number two. How many? What's the number here? 17. 17. So it's telling you that that frame is staying around 17 frames. Do you understand? Meanwhile, I said you should stay around two two frames each. So let me just let me just delete all these ones. Highlight everything and press delete on my keyboard. Then stop it here. Let me stop it here. Stop. Okay. So you can see everything is carrying two two frames. So let me play it. You see, it's now looping. You see, it's looping, it's looping because I clicked on this this loop here, this one here okay so your assignment listen to it very well add your color card add your drawing layer create a blink that's step by step create your blinks in three drawings within three drawings that's what we have here create your blinks within three drawings that's open eye comma semi closed eye comma closed eye as shown in this diagram as shown above i'll send you the video anyway so you see it right it's not hard it's not hard place the drawings appropriately on the timeline that's first drawing open eye semi open eye closed eye okay then repeat semi open eye then open eye do you understand to do a loop so that the eye blink can be in a loop yes or yes okay now that you are done okay export it and, and send to my email do you understand? Make sure you export it and email it to me via your PC or via your phone or whatever um, medium that you use to export. I'll send you the email again. That's um, uh, GD Streams email. I'll send it to you again so that you can start sending your email there. Okay? All right. Now. I want to now do something called Jara. We are ending the class now. Something called Jara. So let me show you what the Jara is. This is the level I want you guys to get to. I'm going to add. Mm -hmm.